Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront back again with more of our voice acted playthrough of Gods We'll Be Watching. This video will cover part 2 of Chapter 2 20 Days of Empty Words. Do you know that Alexander loves hamsters? Ugh, how sweet. He has an entire collection of legless, eyeless, toothless, hairless, brainless hamsters. Not all at the same time, I mean, each one is customized with delicacy. Actually, I kind of introduced him to the hobby. I remember as a kid, a hamster was one of the best gifts no one ever gave me. It really brought out my passion for torture at an early age. I'll never forget Harry Mr. Dimitri. What a lovely set of screams he had. And you? When are you going to scream? This isn't going to be easy, Irving. I think we have the strength of at least 10,000 hamsters. Why does your organization need our intel? Okay, well this is this is not good. Uh, <laughs> Burden is uh, strapped to a, a, a torture rack thing. Uh, I don't know why he, he doesn't just let go. It looks like there's nothing binding his arms. Um, but anyway, two wrong answers and Burden's dead. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. So we gotta play this very, very carefully. Uh, we got 100% lie. I think before we do that, let's provoke. We can use that lie at any time. Ow. Ooh. Ah. You won't steal a car, you won't steal a baby. Yeah, we already got that. Okay, now let's 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 lie. Get that going. We wanted to fund our cause by selling classified information. Good. Who are you? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna confess one. I'm gonna confess one. That's probably not the best one to confess if we had to confess one. Your leader is- Wait, I didn't say that! We never- Oh, wait, we did. We did. Oh, shit. We, we confessed two pieces of, of information. That's not good. Who do we work for? Alright. Let's... Let's... Let's think on it. No. No, thinking's not gonna do any good. We gotta... Uh, should we try the beg? If we beg, there's a chance that... Uh, oh, God. Let's think. Oh god, don't hurt Burden. If Burden dies, it's the end. If Jack dies, you know, I, I don't want Jack to die, but I can live with it. Oh no. Oh, please work, please work, please work. Beg. No. Oh, okay, we got an answer. Oh god, there's no there's no option. If we provoke, Jack's dead. If we lie, if we fail on the lie, everyone's dead. If we beg, it's not gonna work. We gotta confess. That means we have one more confession that we can give. Okay, we gotta provoke. Cause if we think Burden's gonna die, he's not. Be begging's not gonna work. If, if Big fails, Liam's gonna die. So we gotta provoke. It's our only option. I gotta hope that they're gonna end this soon. Well, you'll have to excuse us now. We are meeting these two hot new trainees. Oh, that reminds me. I'll probably kill you soon. If the date goes smoothly, I'm going to need that chained wall. Are you alright, Burden? Don't worry about me, and save your strength. How do you always stay so cool? It's like you were born to survive. What? Are you trying to heal me with sweet talk? I'm not the only one who got this far, Jack. Consider yourself a true survivor, too. Now, that's a good pep talk. <laughs> Shut up and rest. Ah, 
How are you holding up? Well, we're alive. We'll need a vacation after this. <laughs> sure, you can take a free day. That's generous. Xena Lifer's motto. Freedom for all intelligent beings. Fuck my employees. You should have read the fine print. What should I bring you? Gotcha. Stay alive. A dooby doo, a dooby da, a dooby doo, yeah! A dooby baby, a doo by yeah! Man, I miss some karaoke action! Do you like games? I'm really into gambling games myself. Do you remember old gunpowder weapons? Well, this is a seven-barreled Lucky Revolver. It's been in my family for centuries. Old fellows from Earth had a game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means. It must have been the guy who invented it. Whatever. I'll put one bullet inside the barrel. I'll point it at your face and ask you a question. Make me happy, and I won't pull the trigger. Either way, you'll be in the hands of Lady Fortune. Are you ready? For one out of seven chances of boom. What did you steal from our database? All right, well, here's, uh, this is where it gets tricky. Because we can't confess anymore. And this is all based on luck. One, every, one out of seven chance right now. Oh, we gotta think. We gotta think. Oh, God. For one out of six chances. 73% chance of a lie. I think we gotta think on our chances where we have good odds. And then lie on the, the ones that we don't have good odds. So let's... Let's think again. We'll make the lie a, a almost near certainty. Come on, one six chance is fine. Oh god, one out of five chances. Oh, one out of five chances. We got 98%. Can we beg? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. Reset. Reset. Good. One out of seven chances. Once again, we're gonna we're gonna hold on to our lie, and we're going to. To beg. Begging's not gonna work here. Okay, good. One out of six chances. Keep the beg going. Okay, good. One out of five chances. Let's lie. Let's lie. I'm not gonna risk it. Alexander, oh, it's time for it. our secret made weapon. It through, guys. Bring me the red blade crabs. It, no, wait. We had them for dinner yesterday, shit. Sorry, buzz killer. See you tomorrow. I think that Alexander has muscles that don't belong to a human being. <sighs> I'm starting to like my chair. I wonder what his face looks like. Maybe he's a cutie under the hood. That would be even scarier. You look like shit. Don't you die on me, damn it! Don't worry. Abraham here won't let me die. Good. You need to support each other. Teamwork can make the torture a lot easier to withstand. He won't let me die. Otherwise, he'd have to face all of the violence alone. Well, any motivation is good, seeing the circumstances. <laughs> what should I bring you? Let's go with... Uh, painkillers. Gotcha.
I'm leaving now. No one is gonna walk me to the door? I'm getting sick of this dumb blonde's bullshit. You know something I envy from free guys like you? Not having to wear the same clothes every day? Coffee! For the Emperor's sake, how I fucking miss coffee! It was prohibited seven years ago because our beloved Emperor thought that coffee encourages rebel thinking. Sometimes I wish the Emperor would sit down here so I can show him how many ways I disagree with him. Alexander, forget what you just heard. The thing is, rebel activity actually has descended. But so did our R&D departments. I don't know why you were interested in the research of some coffee-less scientists. Well, I can confess something to you, Irving. We weren't there for the coffee. No shit. How did you manage to enter our space lab? Okay, I think we're nearing the end here, guys. I think we just gotta get through this one. If we can get through this, we'll be fine. Uh, let's think. Oh, good. Good, they're back to fists. They're back to fists. This is good. I think what we, we had painkillers coming next. Is there some sort of... Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just get the... Get this going. You know what, let's provoke, and I don't, I don't even think we need to lie on this one. I think we can just provoke. Take turns provoking. Uh-huh, just take turns provoking. If they're just gonna beat me up with fists, I have no problem here. See, this is working. Eventually, they're gonna get tired of this. Let's think. Get the uh, the lie up. We'll, we'll, we're getting this up for the next one. So when the next uh, the next one comes, we'll have a very high lie percentage that we can work with. A little begging work here. Good, good. That worked. Man, this is taking a long time. I feel like we should be done already. Come on already! Good. Come on! I just want to get through, the, through to the next one. And end Good. of the day! End of day. Congratulations, you survived another day! You won't give us a prize? Of course! What do you want? The torture wall or the axe? Oh, forget it. Why do we choose this life of suffering? Why can't we just live on a farm with warm sunsets and cool evenings? We'd harvest crops and be away from all of this. We can. We should. But I'll tell you something. I'm sure that even if we survive this, you go back to the action. And the fool that I am, I'd follow you. Can't be helped, Jack. We don't know shit about raising crops. Can I offer you guys a massage or something? No, stop. I'm sick of people touching me. Okay, but that was a limited time offer. I can't think of another situation that would justify myself giving a massage to a pair of sweaty fellas. What should I bring you? Let's go with the healing kit. Gotcha. Alright, painkiller is good. 
If you survive this, beers will be on me for the next month. I had planned on dying, but that's good motivation indeed. Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. Everything was black and white. Everything but the orange light of my cigarette. Oh, and I wasn't blonde. And kind of lame with a heavy metal t-shirt and long hair. I lived in a world made of concrete. And every day got to see people with black bags on their heads. The best part is that Alexander never existed. No offense. And I tortured those poor black bag heads. Damn, it was fun. But one day... This hobo with a green-eyed gas mask came to me and said, Your world was made in less than 72 hours. Hey, snap out of it and start hitting us, please. Man, how rude! Okay, so once again, we got, uh, we got two points of damage for Jack, and then he's done. So, we have the lie. We're gonna hold on to that. Let's provoke. And the good thing is that we have painkillers, so Burden can take a lot of damage right now. And the next thing we got is health, uh, health kit, so it's gonna work out good. Ah, my balls! Provoke. And provoke. Still good, still good. Provoke. Provoke. Oh god, it hurts so much. Even with the painkillers. Provoke. And then we lie. Alexander, my back is killing me. Let's call it a day. See, I don't like it either, having to hurt you. But hell, if you want to play the hero, it's my duty to beat the ever-living shit out of you. I, I hope you understand. You want to sit? We can trade places whenever you want. Oh, no, 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 please. What an awful host that would make me. Rest yourselves, darlings. Okay, we gotta be almost done with this, right? I'm afraid of the wall. Is that some kind of metaphor? No, man. A fucking wall with chains in front of me. It's hard spending all night looking at it and imagining myself hanging on it. I'm more afraid of the axe. I found a library. Do you want me to get you something to read? Oh, yeah. Fuck meds. Let's fight them with culture. Okay, you're not in the mood. What should I bring you? Gotcha. Did you know the guys at Xenolifer's Matriarch talk of you as heroes? Save the pep talk for them and get us out of here. Okay, I think we gotta be almost done with this. Did you have a good night? Those wooden chairs are shit. Sorry. Not so long ago, we had a pair of comfy armchairs, but our boss told us we were wasting too many resources in the dry cleaner. Now we just shoot some water with a hose and done! I'm sorry, guys, but this is when we get serious. If you don't tell me what I want, I'll cut his arm. Simple as that. Where are your headquarters? Okay, well, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Jack, I'm sorry. I think you might lose an arm because we can't confess anymore. And, uh, well... 
uh, we we don't have a good lie percentage, and uh, maybe maybe Burden can provoke a little bitch like you. Won't get much from us. Okay, okay, it's not gonna work like that. Okay, um, I can't imagine. Oh, uh, I I can't confess. I'm sorry, Jack. You're gonna have to lose an arm. Oh God, Jack! I'm sorry. Ah! Are you sure your crappy terrorist secrets are worth an arm? I'll let you rest, but you better start preparing a good confession for tomorrow. Because tomorrow, guys, I'll work with your eyes. Sometimes, I wonder what we're doing with our lives. Yeah. These chairs make you wonder about a lot of things. I mean, we've been with Xenolifer for three years now. And of course, we didn't join them to defend their cause. But I ended up liking it. Xenolifer are good people with good intentions. But that's not the only thing that matters. What do you mean? It's all about their methods. You may want to save the world. But big ideals come with a big question. How much blood has to be spilled in order to succeed? Here he is, my favorite blonde. I thought I was your favorite blonde. Don't fight because of me. You two are my favorite hostages that are about to be free. What should I bring you? Found Sergeant Burden. Positive also on Jack Maslow. There's a third unidentified subject. What should we do? Leave him. Your top priority is to get the sergeant out of there. Understood. Moving back to the ECUK headquarters. Sergeant. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of chapter two. Probably the most in intense chapter in all of this game, uh, at least from what I've played so far. Uh, once again, big thank you goes out to all my friends who helped me do the voice acting for all these characters. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please, please, please. Do us a favor, like this video, share it around, show people, hey, look, it's a cool voice acted version of Gods Among Us, or Gods Will Be Watching. And, uh, yeah, do that, do all that kind of stuff. And please, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.